what we do have left now is the cam. And the cam is a rotation um, device. Let me see, it's a half centered. Let me tell you what the cam is. Let me look at the info because I don't. I can't tell you how to put my head right now. But they, you would learn about it in six form unit one. Cam. Cam in engineering. Try. Right. So, this is a cam, right? It's like a egg shaped circle or ill shaped circle which causes which transfers rotational motion into lateral motion. So manufacturing cam the term CAD can see numerical control the process is used to design manufacturing products. The term CAD CAM implies that an engineer can use a system both to design a product and for control manufacturing adult industrial process needs. Right, see there. A cam is a reciprocating, oscillating, or rotating body which imparts reciprocating or oscillation motion to a second body called the follower, which is in it contact with it. So a cam usually have something in touch in touch with it. So when the big ugly part of the circle touch it, they push it up. Then when the narrow part of the circle come, it come coming down. So it, it causes rotational motion to turn into lateral motion. <coughs> Right, move back to the drawing. We're going to do the drawing now. So look at the cam. You will see the center line through it here. You have the offset third piece here. You have these curves, a lot of curves coming around. Center line here and here. So radius here. So one circle. Body from this point here. Another center line coming from here. So you will start with the center line as usual from here and here between third degrees. Right, so let's go. The cam seems like the most challenging one for now, but let's see what happens. So you start with the center line, boom. Then you have a 30 degrees one from there. 30 degrees from this is be it. 30 degrees from 90 will be 60. 60, good. So from this center point here. Make sure ortho, not ortho, polar is on, you'll see now go see angle. When I draw it. Alright, so my center lines them set up well bustle. So that is this center frame here. Notice that one, this one and that one. The 30 degrees between that. So if this is 90, this is 60. Now that we have that, we can start drawing. So offset 40 from there and 40 from here. So offset 40. Enter. Oh, that can't write. Offset 40. Boom, boom. You're kidding me. You must be shitting me, man. Offset 40. Enter. Eh. Yeah. Let's go on. Alright. I'm going to try too big after all. After all, after all. I'm going to measure it again. I still look away. Don't do it myself. I'm not a genius. Alright. So this is from here to here is 40 as well, but in a lateral direction. So you want to go up this way, measure 40, 40, enter, and stop there. So the 40 stops there, 40 stops there. So 40 there, 40 there, and we use that 40 line. So measure it, make sure 40. Boom, boom. No, you have to use a line dimension. A line. 
fuck it's good. No. So now we have the fight in the air and the fight in the air. Can't start draw. So the first surfer here is 12. R12. So we boom boom. Surfer radius 12. And there. 12. Enter. Then this surfer here is radius 20. Select radius 20. 20. Enter. Then. After that now. This one here is 30, this two, we can get these two, so this, this one is 10 diameter, so 5 radius, and this one is 20, so 10, so 20 and 10. Let me check again, one is diameter 20, one is diameter 10, so diameter 10 first, diameter 10, then enter, then diameter 20, enter. Alright, those are two circles there. And from here, you have a 25. From here, you have a 30. So to get these, now you have to add the radius as usual. So to get this point here, you would add 25 to 10 as the radius of this one, so 25 to 10. And so for this one, it's 25 to 10. So 25 plus 10 is 35. So so R, so let's start again, from here, 35, enter, drive it away there, and then from this circle right here of 12 to 25, 12 to 25 gives you what, 12 plus 25 gives you 35 and 237, so arc, so enter start again, very seven here. Very seven. Enter. And that's it. And then grab this circle now, which is twenty five to get there. So circle. Damn it. R twenty five. So R twenty five should give me circle machine both of them. Twenty five. All right. That's good. See. We get that part now so I can trim just to create some clean space, some clean free space. Alright, then to connect here to here, you need another circle that is 40. So to get this one, you need this center and this center. But because it's going all the way out there, you would minus the 20 from the 40, and you minus the 12 from the 40. To get this here so 40 minus 12 gives you 30 28 yes so 28 gives you this curve from here so 28 28 28 enter and then again 28 and the start end to the center 28 enter start there go there so this is the curve and I want to change these to center line now so I'm gonna get confused So this is the curve, so I want to intersect this one from here. So it would be, to get this one here, so it's 40, because we're using this center rather than here. So minus in this 20, which is here to here, from the 40, so we'll scrap 20 now. So center start end, in this center, it's 20. Start again, try that again. Arc, center, start, end. Center. 20. 
Hold on, kind of seems fair. Arc send to start end. Center point twenty. Jack, log one. All right, let's keep go to this track in. And just that end twenty. Enter. Center start in boom. Actually, maybe I can still know why now. Record 20. Enter my computer tab to all right. Use a circle in. See it until you want 20. Enter. So, my dry tile long. For the 20 intersect with the circle, ja, ja. See the intersect right there, so. <laughs> they draw along. Go look what they draw. It don't work, it don't work, it don't work, it don't work. My mistake. Change the people. I write this at the intersection there. Because. The minus 20 from 40, you get 20. And go intersect right here. That's part of the circle. My bad. Because I'm never tripped out, so. Basically, what I'm going to do is connect this part first and show it before I move on. It is working all along. Alright, so this one is 30. So to get, use the center to get this one. I'll have to add 30 plus 10. That's 40. To get this one, so. 30 plus 10, that's 40. 40, enter. Hit again. Enter, subscribe. And then from this side now. So now this is thirty to get. So to get use this center now, I have to add this diameter here, which is ten plus thirty gives forty to get this one. So you open it to forty, subscribe. So to get from this one now, what you need to do is twenty plus this thirty because this thirty touches this line. So to extend it to the center, you have to add twenty. So it's fifty from here. To here is 50. So you're going to scribe 50. What did I do? 50. So you're going to scribe 50 from here. So it's circle to start end. Boom. 50. Enter. Scribe. And from this point, you're able to draw your 30 circle that touches both of them. So circle, 30, enter. Then trim. TR enter trim. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here you go. Voila. So now that we have that, we can trim this circle here. TR enter. Trim this. Trim this. Trim this. Trim this. Now that we have that, we just need this one here to connect this circle to this circle. And this is the need 40 radius. So notice we were fighting with this on our Lego because we didn't realize that it meshed with this circle here because the circle comes all the way around like that. So what we'll do now is to do it again. So 20, 40 minus 20 gives 20. So from this center, we're going to scribe 20 that way. So center start end 20. Enter and scribe, and that's where you'll be. From here, we're going to open our compass, circle, and scribe a 40 circle. So, 40. Enter. And notice it touches both of them, so we trim all of this now. Enter. Boom, 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 
so in the meantime in the meantime so we can delete all these extra lines now because they are what we use to get our cap and that's it basically so basically we did it we did it we did it we did it hooray Bellissimo, we did it. Drawing this on paper would have been a bit tedious because it's super small, but CAD allows you to zoom in and out, something you would not be allowed to do on paper. Now, they have a little notch here. You notice they didn't give any measurement for it, so I'm going to assume my measurement. Whenever you're not given any measurement for something in AutoCAD, you just assume it, okay? You are getting the permission to make the R and the extruder there, here, here. But, oh my God. Oh my noodles. All right, it's not perfect, but you know, something better than nothing. Then they give us no measurement, so I just did something there. So now move this to here. This is the cam. M A enter properties. What are different curves blending together to form this shape? And that is it for blending curve circles, arcs, and tangents. The AutoCAD version. This is the cam. All caps all the time. Cam. Boom. There you go. So we did all of them. So now what you're going to do is you're going to do all of these joins. You're going to put them in pages, label them, and send them to me. The only thing you don't need to have is these. Because we have, I've not taught you yet how to do these. So you can leave these off, but make sure your labeling is there, here and here. And your center lines are there. And your object lines. You don't necessarily have to show me any construction because you have to construct it to get it anyways. So ensure you have everything done like this and submit accordingly. The topic is circles, arcs, and tangents. After this, we're moving straight into loci. All right.